Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching 42. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you are new. Today we are jumping into a bit more of a historical movie, and that is 42. I thought it could be really interesting to watch this movie during Black History Month, and on top of learning more about African American culture and during this time in the United States, and learning about a really important figure, Jackie Robinson, we also get to pay tribute to Chadwick Boseman, who is an actor that I actually haven't seen a ton of his work. I've been really eager to check out more of his work in light of his passing, and I can't watch Black Panther yet because I'm not at that point in the MCU world yet. So I thought this would be a really interesting movie to watch with you guys to honor him as well as celebrate Black History Month. So I'm really excited to watch this one today. I hear Harrison Ford is in it as well. We love him. I'm really interested to learn a little bit more about Jackie Robinson. I have done a little bit of light reading about his history before watching this movie, but there are still quite a few things I don't know. So um, I'm not quite sure how accurate this movie is to the actual historical events that occurred. I would assume that it's going to be fairly accurate, but maybe just a little bit dramatized. I'm really interested to see how his story is portrayed in a cinematic way. Also, as I was reading a little bit about Jackie Robinson, I noticed that April 15th is actually Jackie Robinson Day. Um, that's what everybody celebrates in the Major League Baseball world, and I think nationally as well. It's recognized as Jackie Robinson Day. So this could have been a great movie to watch then too, but I already decided to watch it during this month. And yeah, I just am really excited to jump into this one. This was definitely one of those movies that I wasn't super aware of until a bunch of friends suggested it over on the Patreon page. So if that is something that interests you, make sure to go down below, click that Patreon link, and it'll take you to my page where you can make suggestions, vote in polls, help me decide what I watch next here on this channel, as well as catch my full length reactions. I don't have too much to say about this one. I'm honestly just curious to learn more about Jackie's story, to see Chadwick's portrayal of this figure in history, and to see how they made this movie. This should be Definitely an interesting one to watch with you guys here on this channel. And with that being said, I think we should just jump on into it. So yeah, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Men return home, among them some of baseball's most beloved names. Every one of the 400 players mm. were white. In 1947, that number dropped to 399. Is this a journalist that's going to write about him? I think that's the guy that played Kevin uh, in Moonlight. I have a plan. Harrison Ford. I'm going to bring a ball player. The Brooklyn Dodgers. Guys, I have a dumb question. Were the were the Dodgers always in Brooklyn? Aren't there LA Dodgers now? Did they move to LA? Am I losing my mind? I don't know anything about baseball. Jack Roosevelt Robinson, 26 years old. He batted in 350. Wow, he was 26 when he got recruited. He's one year younger than me. He's a troublemaker. Troublemaker. Oh, he argues with umpires. Robinson's a Methodist. I'm a Methodist. I don't even really know what a Methodist is in <laughs> the definition, to be honest. Bring him Oh my god, wait, how did he get here so quick? I'm so confused, that was so fast! Did we just like go back in time? And then go Jackie back in, into current time? I'm so confused. Who are you? <laughs> Smart man. <laughs> Can you control your temper? Team stops at a restaurant. Waiter won't take your order. Didn't you see the sign on the door? No n allowed. Oh god, he's really acting the scenario out for him. You want a player who doesn't have the guts to fight back? I want a player who's got the guts not to fight back. He's thinking about the bigger picture. I read that. That was something he actually said. Hello? Ray. Oh, his lady. Oh! He asked her over the phone? Did that actually happen? He's asking her to marry him before she even knows about the Dodgers deal. <laughs> I've just never seen one before. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, we're not in Pasadena. Oh, anymore. is Pasadena not segregated at this time? Ray? Oh, is she gonna go in there? Ray? We have to lighten the plane. There's some bad weather east of here. Jack. Really? Really? They just took them, huh? Wow. Now they're in Florida. Oh, they took the bus. Oh, God, man. 
Oh no, he is playing for the Montreal team. Okay, so it is like an affiliate team. Okay. Wow. Yeah, come on. Woo! So quick. Woo! That was exhilarating. <laughs> oh my god. We don't get carried away, Mr. Ricky. There's still a Oh Jesus. His affiliate coach isn't even on his level. Ay ay ay. You will either manage Robinson fairly and mm -hmm. correctly, or you so can be unemployed. Man, they got such a battle ahead of them. It's like just trying to convince the damn team to be accepting and supportive. And oh yeah, yeah. Oh, they're they literally are gonna play each other. Interesting. Please, God, let Jackie show them what we can do. God, I don't know anything about baseball, but I I get the basics. I think. Ooh. Ball, Ball is different than a strike, though, right? Is he threw it too close to him? Yeah, let him hit. What the hell? See, I know I know what ball means. Yeah, throw it over the plate. What's your deal? I mean, I know what his deal is. He's racist and an asshole. But seriously, come on. Oh, oh, he's sneaking. He's so quick! Oh my god. He's so fast. Holy moly, man. Wow. He's gonna do it again to the next plate, isn't he? <laughs> oh no! No, 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 no! That is so crazy, man. I didn't know you could do that in baseball. You could just change the direction you were going and I didn't realize that was an option. Wow, wow. This pitcher needs to work on his attitude, man. What happened? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, me either, honey. I was lost too, but I figured it out. Oh boy, who's this man? The ball player, is he in there? This is private property, man. Why are you asking? Put him in the car and start driving to Daytona oh. Beach. Now, under no circumstances are you to tell him what this is really? about. Really? Oh my God, you gotta keep that a secret? Waking him up in the middle of the night? Oh yeah, yeah. Think he doesn't know? Like, he's gotta have some idea. Oh no, who are these people? Good job, man, good job. Jeez, oh. Mr. Ricky said to get you to Daytona Beach ASAP. I thought you woke me because I was cut from the team. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's why he was in such a bad mood. Was he about to invite him to play it with the Dodgers? It is my pleasure to tell you that you have earned a place with the Montreal Royals. Oh. I won't let you down. Oh, oh it's the first step is the Royals. Okay. He's working his way up to the Dodgers. So I wonder how long he played for the Montreal team before he went to the Dodgers. Because I didn't know about this affiliate team. Oh, all those kids looking up to him. Young man. Oh. You all right, honey? I'm sick. Don't know why. She's pregnant, isn't she? Why don't you have your mom? Oh, God. See, she's even asking her. Maybe that you're pregnant. Oh, my God. This random woman told her. <laughs> Oh God! I don't know what that means. What I like? I don't know what hand symbols mean. Holy moly! Wow! Yeah, man, go run! Oh! You know it's funny. Like baseball is one of those few sports where, like, if you hit the ball out of there, it's good. You know, it's a home run. If you do that in tennis, that is out. <laughs> you did not get it in the court. That's bad. You know, it's superhuman after all. Oh, this guy's opinion is changing. Oh, wow, she had the eight months later. Oh my God, so quick. You wanna take care of your mama? No. No, you better. Aww. I'll see you in Brooklyn uh, in eight weeks. Aww. Right, he's gotta go to training first before they decide, I see. Oh, I love their relationship, man. I like their chemistry together, these two actors. We, the undersigned Brooklyn Dodgers, will not play ball on the same field as Jackie mm. Robinson. Brooklyn Dodgers Declaration of Independence. That's right. Yeah, it's more like the white racist Declaration of Independence. You guys are just being lame. I hope these guys all get let go from the team, to be honest, but I guess we'll see what happens. Give me the pen. Oh no, are, they all, are a lot of them gonna sign it? Maybe they aren't gonna kick all these people out. It's just gonna be a lot of people signing it. Yeah, well, if they decide to put them in shortstop. Exactly. Oh, yeah, that was right. his peewee. Yeah. Well, I figure if he's man enough to take my job, he deserves it. Mmm, kind of like that attitude. Robinson can either play or he can't. And he can. Well, boys, you know what you can do with your <clears throat> shoes and wipe your asses with it. Then if you don't like it, screw you. Mr. Ricky will be happy to make other arrangements for you. Yeah, you guys think you're hot? He's only the first, yep. boys. 
Yeah. Like it or not, Higby. I'm ready for Higby to leave. I'm ready for him to get out of here. I don't know what happened to him if he stayed with the Dodgers and got with the program or not. This business of this actress out in California. Oh, crap. She recently divorced and deroches the cause. Oh, Chris's character. Oh, no. Oh, God. I don't want him to get let go. I love him. Leo DeRocha is suspended from baseball for a year. Oh, no. I liked Chris Milani's character. God dang it. I didn't know that this happened. That's crazy, man. What a time to be left without a manager. That's insane. He needs to see you right away. He has a contract <gasps> for you to sign. A contract. <laughs> there he goes. He just woke up. It's, no, you hung up, man. You hung up. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Wow. Oh, God. Who is the manager going to be, though? I'm so concerned. April 15th. So this was opening day, his first day playing with them. That's so cool. There it is, 42. I also heard that, uh, I think 50 years after opening day of this date, they retired his number for good in the league. Oh, I wonder how this first game is gonna go. Go, man, go, go! Wait, what? He is not out. That was just a lie. Wow. Asshole, man. What's this about, Branch? They need you, man. I need you to manage the Dodgers for me, Bert. But I promised my wife, Branch. You promised her. You heard you'd, you'd never put on a uniform again. Yeah, yeah, he's like, you don't have to wear a uniform, Bert. He's going to say yes, isn't he? Because we wouldn't have this scene if he wasn't going to say yes. His wife's not going to be happy, but it's the right thing. You're doing the right thing, man. They need you. So let's get out there and beat those, uh, who are we playing? The Giants, Bert. Right, Giants. Bert! Bert! Oh, Jesus Christ, Bert. Oh, he really is retired. <laughs> They're going to run the white man straight out of baseball. They have a longer heel bone. Gives them an unfair speed advantage. Go, Jackie, go! Oh, my God, it's out of there. Wow. Was that because his heel bone was longer? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Or he's just better. My God. Huh? I thought you swung your way out of a jungle. Chapman, the Phillies manager seems... That's the Phillies manager. Wonderful. What does that even mean? Oh, God. <laughs> Holy <laughs> man. Jesus Christ. How come this pitcher's not getting fouled? Come on now, get up. Can't take the heat, get up. Higby, shut the up. F up, you asshole. That's your teammate, you racist prick. I just want to see, like, people be freaking supportive to him already. I'm so sick of this, but I know that this is only a fraction of how tough it must have been. Oh, hey, Alan, hey. I like you normally. What's shut up. for you all. That you let him drink out of the same water fountain as you. Wow. I can't believe this is allowed. Like, in general. Shut this man up. I got a damn thing I can do about it. Of course there is. You can get out there and hit. You can get on base Oh, and, man, and imagine score. having to give this kind of motivational speech to him. And having to go through this <laughs> Go kick Alan Tudyk's ass. But, you know, just by playing good baseball. Wow, this scene with the lighting like this. It's so ethereal, you know? And they definitely use a lot of religious metaphors in this movie. It's almost like Ricky is serving as like a father figure, but also like a godlike figure coming him and trying to tell him what's what. I know you can hear me. Come on, guys. Sh shut this freaking guy up. You know he can't fight back. Why don't you try picking on someone who can yeah. fight back? I like Stanky. Hey, Stank, what's it like being in? I don't know, Chapman. What's it like to be a redneck piece of sh Yeah, I'm still shocked that that's Alan Tudyk. Come on, man. What did he hit? Did he get it? He's standing on first. That's all that frickin' matters. He's good at sneaking and he's good at running. He can do this. Whoa. Yeah, thank you for calling it accurately. Oh my God. Oh, that shot's so intense. Shot from his foot. Shot from like the, the perspective of his feet running. That's oh, so suspenseful. Woo! He's able to try home for the first run of the game that may also be the Wow. Yeah, shut the hell up, man. Finally. I can't believe it. I speak my mind and they trade <gasps> Yeah, dude. This ain't the American. Oh my I god. Know. He's literally venting about this in the locker room. What are they sending you, Hig? Pittsburgh. <laughs> you deserve it, asshole. I mean, nothing wrong with Pittsburgh. It's actually a lovely town. I'm just saying the entitlement, like, it's ridiculous. But you cannot bring that down here with the rest of your team. Jesus Christ, man. Why is that, mm -hmm. We're just not ready for that sort of thing here in Philadelphia. Oh my God. This is Philadelphia? Oh, now they're in Philadelphia. Oh, here we go. Wow, I didn't think Philly was gonna be such a racist city either, but I suppose it's just 
The majority of America is like this still. Oh, the entire I mean, team. The entire team has been refused. Wow, they're not allowed to stay there. They probably didn't expect that. Yeah, well, maybe 42's got enough friends in town. We can bunk up. Don't blame him. This ain't his fault. Yeah, well, how the hell are we supposed to win sleeping on a bus? Yeah, well, maybe it'll do you some good the way you've been swinging the bat lately. Hey, you watch your mouth! Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God. everybody's fighting. I'm not going anywhere! All right, Jack. I'm right here! Oh, man. Uh, ben Chapman. He'd like his photo taken with you. What? You've been drinking now. Harold? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of crazy. Chapman hasn't yeah, he changed. hasn't. He's just exactly. And the thing is, it's unfortunate because he's got to take the photo with him. Because if he refuses, that looks bad on him. On the field. On the field, yes. Whatever yeah. Good answer, Jackie. We'll use a bat. That way we don't have to touch skin. <laughs> All right. <laughs> God. Oh, we're in Pittsburgh now. Where is Higby if we're in Pittsburgh? Isn't Higby on this team? Oh, God. Is he going to try to hit him, too? Jesus. I am so sick of this, man. Oh, Jackie. He's probably not used to his whole team defending him like that. Wow, that's great. What an example you're setting for your son. I don't think your boy likes you yelling this, man. Oh crap, no, he's learning. We don't want you here. Oh. oh, that hurt. Showing this kid learning how to hate, learning racism. Oh god. I got family up there from Louisville. I need them to know. Oh. Oh my god. So, this little kid who looks up to Pee Wee, he's seeing his dad be racist and show hatred towards Jackie and black men. And then he sees his hero do the exact opposite. Oh god, that's so beautiful. All right, let me ask you something, Jackie. How come you never shower until everybody else is done? Oh. I don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable. Aww. Take a shower. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Just leave, dude. Saying, it's okay. It's okay, me. man. I was saying, why don't we all go and take a shower? Like, why? As oh, a my team, God. Stop. stop. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. I love him. He's great. It's nice to see a lot of the teammates finally sticking up for him and really, really, truly, like blatantly, bluntly supporting him and encouraging him. As Robinson knocked in Stanky with a jump in the third. Go, Jackie! Go! Go, Jackie! <gasps> Ow! Did they break his leg? Did they just break his leg? Or is it just cut? Christ. You hit him right in the head. No, right? don't, no, don't no, hit no, him. No, don't no, hit him. No, 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 no. Give me Get him up. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, his whole team is like, it's all right, man. We're here. Whatever you need. Okay, it looks like he was just cut, which is painful and sucks, but I'm glad he didn't break his leg. Well, you know, if we win enough of these next games, we bring home the, the pen. I still don't know what that means. Is that like the trophy for the World Series or did that not exist in this time? I don't know. Since oh, this guy. Yeah, we haven't seen him in a while. Dodgers have gone on a hot streak, holding off all challenges. Is he going to catch him? Is he going to catch him? Oh, my heart. Finally, this is what I wanted to happen from the beginning. Teamwork makes the dream work, you know? One more win could do it. One more win. Who's pitching oh, God. the Pirates? Oh, this guy that hit him in the head before. And Robinson takes outside ball one. Come on, Fritz, let's get this ball. Oh, there's that guy. Ball two, he's getting in his head. One more ball, man. Give me something. Give me something. You want it? What are you afraid of? Mm-hmm. He's afraid of you, man. He's not a good enough player. Hit it, Jackie. Hit it. Yeah. Barring a miracle comeback, the Dodgers are going to the World Series. Wow. Was that how it actually played out? Oh, my God. It's so nice to see so many people, like, actually cheering him on and applauding, you know? Oh, he's running to home to her. Oh. Oh. With the everything being in slow motion is really affecting me. Whew. He was Major League Rookie of the Year in 1947. Won the World Series against the Yankees, stealing home in Game 1 in 1955. All L MLB players wear 42 in April. Oh, I didn't realize they do that because I don't watch baseball. It's the only number retired by all of baseball? I didn't know that either. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Wow. I'm really happy that I got to see... Um, some of Chadwick Boseman's work, he did a really, really great job, especially in that scene. I don't know what that tunnel is called, but when he was in the tunnel and the light was poking through and he'd just been 
attacked and harassed by Alan Tudyk's character that Ben Chapman, I think was his name. That scene just felt like such a a massive moment in the movie, like a reckoning where Harrison Ford's character really came to give him advice. And it almost felt like another reference to God and religion, just with the way the light was being used in that tunnel. And uh, yeah, it was a really beautiful scene. And it was definitely a really heavy acting moment. I'm glad I got to see that from him. This story is definitely, it's one that's heartwarming and and fun to watch, but also still really hard because nobody likes to see anyone be treated poorly. Um, watching movies that have to deal with race and you see just people treating others horribly, it just disgusts me and angers me so much. So I knew this was going to be a hard one to sit through, but the ending was really, really beautiful. And to see it all come back around where he's facing off with the same awful pitcher <laughs> that hit him in the head before, definitely hard to see Alan Tudyk in a such a hateable role, <laughs> such a hateable person. It's definitely hard to see that. I will say, whenever I see actors playing roles like that, um, that you know is just not how they actually feel, it really, it's got to be hard to play roles that have such hatred and animosity in their hearts and act in ways that are so different than the person likely acts and believes. So it's, it's always a hard job to do something like that. And so I do commend his, his work because he really made me hate him in this movie. And from all the other things I've seen him in, I love him. So this was definitely hard to watch him in that role, but he did a good job. Yeah, I definitely really enjoyed it. It was really interesting to see it because I, I know literally nothing about baseball and it's always good to learn about important historical figures. I had no idea that Jackie Robinson is the only player to ever have a number be retired. I think that is really, really cool. Um, I had no idea that during April, all the players wear the number 42. That is just so beautiful to me. I really had no idea because I don't watch baseball. So I've never even paid attention to what they're wearing because I think I've probably seen one baseball game in my entire life and it was uh, a minor league game in my hometown. So I really enjoyed the little tidbits at the end where we got to see what all these people did with the rest of their lives or whether when they made it in the Hall of Fame or where they got transferred to, just little historical notes like that. I really enjoyed that. And all in all, I just really enjoyed this movie. It was a good watch and I'm really glad that I got to share it with you guys. I thought the score was really great as well, which I kind of had a feeling it would be just because when I have seen baseball movies in the past, they tend to have really epic, beautiful scores and it tends to pair really well with the game. So that didn't surprise me. It definitely warmed my heart to see his team bolstering him and uh, sticking up for Jackie more towards the end of the movie. And I loved Ray as well. She was so sweet. It's nice to see that he had a rock throughout that time. And I'm happy that I got to watch this movie with you guys for the first time. If any of you guys are baseball fans out there, please let me know some things that I probably missed down in the comments below. I know I said it multiple times that I don't know anything about baseball, but it really just is the truth. Uh, I feel like I didn't do too poorly, though, in understanding certain aspects of the game while watching this, but it definitely was a informative experience. And yeah, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below, whether or not you liked this. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. And if you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out. And yeah, subscribe if you want to. And until the next one, stay golden.